Thanks, John. So as we switch over here, so for this particular demonstration, as uh, John indicated, uh, synchronous Ethernet and packet synchronization in general has become a very hot topic. So we wanted to actually put something together that was a little different in terms of combining both the wireline and wireless application. Um, I'm sure for most of you, or for at least half of you that have been participating in, these, in the track today, with regards to back, you're familiar with this. Um, but in terms of synchronous Ethernet, it's certainly one of the key requirements for mobile backhaul applications, both uh, you know emerging now and especially for LTE uh, moving forward. Um, we see applications, you know, we typically think of from a backhaul as being in the axis, but it applies to also the aggregation networks and all the way back into the uh, uh, metro core. So synchronous Ethernet, as, as you're probably familiar, is a network-based uh, tie-in. This uses the Ethernet physical layer for frequency synchronization. Um, for mobile applications, especially for voice, the critical requirement of supporting synchronization or clocking is necessary so that you're uh, not dealing with voice impairments, drop calls, uh, missing handoffs between base stations. And um, as we'll show you here with this particular demo, we're looking at synchronous Ethernet as something that's applicable to all forms of transmission. Um, from a uh, physical air perspective. So first of all, with regards to the uh, EFC syncing test, this is actually within the uh, white paper, if you'd like to get more uh, details. But there are actually 16 vendors, um, including uh, ourselves, Alvian Networks, and Calix, who's helping out with the demo today. There were 30 devices that were operating as uh, either master or slave uh, uh, clocks. And, um, the tests were run really to uh, qualify or validate that the clocking uh, met the 823, G. Uh, 823 SSU mass, uh, MTIE and um, Like I said, the, the details of the tests and everything are within the white paper if you'd like to get more uh, specific info on this. With the uh, specific setup that we've got in this demo, um, as indicated, we wanted to put together a topology that showed um, various products, so it's a multi-vendor demonstration, but it also shows uh, various connectivity options. Uh, starting with uh, Symmetricom, Time Provider 5000 as the clocking source here, actually got the uh, clocking pass to the uh, Cisco ME3600. From there, there's an actual uh, gig electrical interface that goes to the Aviat Networks Eclipse packet node, and um, we've got two, a link set up, a microwave link, where you're actually running the Ethernet over microwave at that time with the uh, synchronization. On the far end, you've got uh, uh, the electrical interface coming out to the MRB OS 904 uh, platform. And then there's actually a conversion happening from electrical to optical uh, into the Cisco MWR 2941. Um, and then finally, the uh, traffic is actually passed now to the Calmex Paragon uh, for jitter and water analysis. Um, so you can see there we've got a, a combination of Ethernet over electrical, over optical, and over mic to show the uh, various transport options you have for, uh, for running synchronous Ethernet. Um, now probably the uh, more exciting part is what's the actual results. So for that we'll uh, switch over here to uh, Peter and uh, we'll see what's actually running here. Um, what he's got right here is the time interval error chart. You can see it's like five nanoseconds uh, deviation. And he's actually going to pull up the uh, screen that will show the, um, the comparison to the actual MTIE TDEP mask. So there are the actual mask, the red line being the MT the time interval error, and the green being the time deviation. And he's actually going to do a run to do a comparison of plotting the uh, actual dotted line represents what the actual is compared to those masks. And in both cases, you can see that they're well within uh, specification. Um, certainly, there's other masks that can be run, but this is one particular one that we uh, thought was important to show. And uh, certainly, if you've got any questions or interested in more information about this, uh, Peter and I will be here, and Jonathan.